Okay, so we've looked at quite a lot of stuff with fractions so far, um, but what we haven't looked at so far are equations where we've got a fraction on both sides. Now, this is getting pretty complicated, pretty tough, um, but let's have a look and see what we can do with one of these. So, same as before, this side we've got y divided by 3, this side we've got y plus 2 divided by 5. We're actually going to see a clever little trick, which is if I times this side here by 3, the divide by 3 will disappear. But I need to do the same to that side. If I times this side here by 5, that will disappear. And if I times this side here by the 5, well, I've just got to do the same to that side. Now, this little trick is often called cross multiplying because we're doing 3 times this. We're doing 5 times that. So cross multiplying is a clever way to sort out something like this. So let's do that. If we times this side by 3, we just end up with y. Times that side down by 5, we get 5 y. Timesing this side by the 5 gets rid of the divide by 5. Timesing it by 3, we get 3 lots of y plus 2. Now we've got this, we can proceed as we would with something with uh, sorry, brackets in it. So we get 3y plus 2. And now we can proceed as an equation with an unknown on both sides. So we end up with 2y equals 2, and then we can divide both sides by 2. So we end up with y equals 1. So that's your first example, this idea of cross multiplying. So this y plus 2 gets times by the 3, this y gets times by the 5, and by doing that we get rid of the fractions on both sides. Have a go at this, and then I'll run through the answer in just a moment. Okay, so let's lay out a cross multiplying. So we're doing that times that and that times that. So 9 times the x gives us 9x. 7 lots of that. And you'll see I put the brackets in. That's just to avoid any silly mistakes, forgetting to multiply the 1. It just keeps us right. So we end up with 9x equals 7x. Take away 7. Let's take away 7x from both sides. So we end up with 2x equals minus 7. Be careful not to lose that minus sign. Divide both sides by 2. And my easy way to write that is minus 7 over 2. And we're done. Now, let's take that up a step. So far, this, this left-hand side has been reasonably easy. These two change that because now we've got slightly more complicated things on both sides. But the idea remains the same. We're going to cross multiply. So we're going to do seven lots of this. And again, I'm using these brackets to really help me out. Three lots of that it means I've only got to keep one thing in mind, which is just which two things am I working with? I don't need to think about multiplying out yet. Now I can do my multiplying out. So we get 7y minus 7 equals 3y plus 24. Now I can start solving. So now I'm doing, taking 3y from both sides. That leaves me with 4y minus 7 equals 24. Deal with the minus 7 now. Add 7 to both sides. We get 4y equals 31. And finally divide by 4. And again, don't be afraid that it's a fraction, that's fine. 31 over 4 is a perfectly acceptable answer in a solving equations question. Have a go at your turn. I'll run through the answer in a few seconds. Okay, so laying out our cross multiplying, we're doing that times that and that times that. So 11 lots of this. equal to 8 lots of that. Multiply out of brackets. So 
Now I start solving. And continue solving by taking 55 off both sides. And taking quick way to take 55 off, 70 take away 50 is 20. 5 off 2, got to go back 3 more, so we're going to get 17 there. And 3x. And uh, finally divide by the 3. So x equals 17 over 3. Now, lots of the questions you'll do won't have fractions in their answers, but don't be surprised if you end up with some kind of fraction answers. That is, that is absolutely fine if you end up with fractions in your answer. Um, so quite a long method, but keep in mind, basic ideas to cross multiply. That gives us something which we then can deal with because it's like the bracket stuff we did. Expanding the brackets gives us an equation which looks like the unknown on both sides equations that we know how to do. And then we solve from there. So it's about turning what we don't know how to deal with into something that is much more familiar. Have a go at the questions, see how you get on, and uh, well done if you've followed all the way to this point.